You're gonna get that? I'll get that. Wait, wait, wait. What am I waiting for? Before you answer the door, I just want you to know that you're really important to me. I care about you. Who do you think is on the other side of the door? Could be anybody. Okay, look, I know you're a little nervous, but Dr. Kirk seems to have it really together. So just try and relax. Let the guy do his job. Wait, so. Well, what brings you by? What is? I have come here to save you. Me? What, spiritually? Of course not, mein Ingelschneuzen. What I meant was, I am here to cure your unfortunately diseased and traumatized brain. Cool. Um, it's not that I don't appreciate the offer, but I have a meeting tomorrow with Dr. Kirk. Alas, Dr. Kirk is no longer available. It seems your fate, my friend, now rests entirely in my hands. Be business far, far away. Well, you know, he could have called us, you know, and told us that. His reassignment was as sudden as it was unexpected. I'm certain if he could have reached out to you, he would have. It's no big deal. I'll just see him when he gets back. He's coming back, right? Who can see? Oh, come on. No, this is, this is bad. Dr. Kirk was kind of my last hope. Franco, look at me and smile. Because you are happily mistaken. About? I took the liberty of perusing the file on your case left in Kirk's office. I'm certain I can help you. Yeah. Uh, that's very generous of you, but I couldn't possibly accept after the way that I treated you. True. Fortunately for you, I am inclined toward forgiveness. Okay. No offense, but since when are you a specialist in neuropsychiatry? I have many specialties. I am the OG polymath. Oh, hang on a second. We're talking about my son's brain. You know, the, the, the little house up there that harbors all of his thoughts and his creativity. I'm not going to let you mess around with that. May I remind you that before moving to Port Charles, I was the director of the Clinic de Geist zu Highland. I got nothing. The clinic to heal the mind. Oh. I know my way around the brain. It says here you are having potential complications after the memory transfer was reversed. Can you tell me what happened? I kind of hear some things in my head. Other people. Disembodied voices. Kind of, but they're... Well, it's not like they're just random voices. It's more like I'm eavesdropping. Like I'm listening into little parts of conversations that I'm not meant to hear, that other people understand. It's not uncommon for our minds to continue to process information while our focus is elsewhere. Right, like how on my smartphone there's always an app running in the background. Is that what that means? We all get stymied, even me. Sometimes I get stuck working on my column. What would I do? Anything else. Then soon, poof, the solution just comes to me. <laughs> now, I've been distracting you long enough. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Schnell. Uh, uh Drew. Oh, your dearest friend in the whole world besides me. What about him? Well, um... When I was talking to Dr. Kirk, I told him what was going on, and he went through my file, and he thought that maybe I wasn't hearing a voice in my head, that maybe it was just one of Drew's memories, and that my brain hadn't really been super scrubbed after all. Interesting. Tell me about this voice. Is it Drew's voice? No. It's not Drew. It's Peter August. 